The following video is a brief look at what's inside the Sun System software. For a more comprehensive demonstration aligned with your business needs, we recommend that you book a demo with one of our consultants. You can access Sun Systems either using a browser, a mobile app, or via the more traditional client server login. This is the browser login. Along the top we have various modules and each of those has a drop down menu so we can access specific functions. Or there are short codes for each function. So if I want to do ledger entry, for which the short code is LEN, I simply type LEN into this search box and press enter to select the function. If I only ever use one or two functions or reports in this system, or there are certain functions that are used frequently, I can add those here in my favorites folder. This is the login via the client server version. As you can see, it's very similar, but instead of drop down menus, we have tabs for each module that display hyperlinks to their various functions. Menus can be configured for individual users. So they only see the functions they actually need to see to be able to do their jobs more efficiently. For example, here the user only needs to be able to enter purchase invoices and update supplier details. The setup of Sun System starts with the creation of what is known as a business unit. This is usually a company, but it could be any entity such as a division, a charity or a college. In the upstream oil and gas industry, joint venture oil rigs are often set up as individual business units. You can create as many business units as you want, which is particularly useful for multinational organizations. You can even create a business unit template and copy it several times to create multiple business units, which drastically reduces your overall setup time. Then you simply customize each individual business unit with their own local settings such as base currency or a different chart of accounts. Next, if you haven't already copied them from a business unit template, you can create many different types of reference data in your business unit. Typical examples would be chart of accounts records, bank details, customer and supplier details, analysis codes, currency codes and exchange rates, item and services codes, and price books. After that, you can set up your transaction entry functions, creating various journal entry types, different purchase orders and invoices, sales transaction types, movement orders, etc. You can also set up business rules to control or manipulate data entry and apply them to specific users and or situations. You can configure workflow and set up integration between Sun systems and other relevant systems in your organization. Data and transaction entry can be done automatically via integrations with other systems or imported from sources such as Excel spreadsheets. Sun Systems also comes supplied with a comprehensive set of forms that can be used for manual data entry, inquiries, amendments and updates. For example, you can use this chart of accounts form to create or amend chart of accounts records, either by entering relevant data into specific fields on the form or by entering each record as a row in a spreadsheet type table. Individual users can have their own customized version of each form, so they only have to enter, amend or see the data that is relevant to them. 
So for some users, this rather busy looking chart of accounts form might only need to look like this, with no tabs and just showing fields that are populated with data. Let's quickly create a new chart of accounts code. So for the code, I'll use 64501. Do I wish to create? Yes. Lookup code is BRANS. Description is Mr. R. Branson. He's a customer, so Sun Systems labels him as a debtor. The status of this record will be open. And we want incomplete transactions to remain open item rather than having a balance carried forward to the next financial year. Entering a product type during transaction entry to this account will be optional, but the next four will all be marked as prohibited and entering a VAT code will be mandatory. If I already know what codes go in these account analysis fields, I can enter them directly. Otherwise, I can use the lookup function. So 64000 and 001 and the account manager will be Nathan Stambo. Keep in mind that all analysis categories in Sun Systems are user defined. So the ones used here are just examples. For another example of customizing forms, Consider this rather inflexible looking journal entry form. It might be quicker and easier to use if it was redesigned like this. Let's quickly enter a cash receipt journal. This particular journal type has some presets associated with it. So after I enter the transaction reference, I confirm the accounting period and enter today's date. It's already supplied me with a bank account code to post the first line of the journal against, and this one is going to be for 1 million euros. Oops, got to enter the department code. I don't know it, so I use the lookup. Then I need to supply an employee code. Use the lookup again, David Turner. And after I confirm that line, a second line appears, partially populated by the presets. We'll use the account code we just created. The currency is euros. Transaction amount is 1 million credit. Enter tax code V. Product type is H01. And now I've finished, I have a balance journal and I can post it. Now you didn't see it, but at the bottom of my screen the system told me that the journal I just posted was number 786. Let's just go do a quick account inquiry against the account code we just created. And as you can see, there is only one journal line posted there for journal number 786. And if I drill down on that journal number, I can get the details of the whole journal up on the screen. So that was a very quick demonstration of one small aspect of some systems. Please feel free to call us with your questions or to ask for a customized demo.